Hey guys, have you ever been in this situation where you've got three eyes that are working and one eye is not working? Well, I'm going to make a quick video here to show you that it actually can be pretty easy to get this eye back working. You don't have to call an appliance repairman for this. It's something that you can do yourself. It, there's a really simple way of doing it, and then if your parts are kind of messed up, there's a better way to do it, but you'll have to actually buy something and splice a couple wires. So one of the first things that you want to check is the terminals for the eye and also the connector block that those terminals connect to because those are your things that are usually going to cause it to go out. Um, you should also visually inspect the eye to make sure that it doesn't look like it's burned into somewhere. That, that also you can do without having to remove anything. So the first thing you should do is make sure that the stove is turned off. That's the most important thing because you don't want to get burned or shocked doing this but once you've unplugged the stove and you can also make sure that the eye is turned off then once it's safe to touch because you've turned it off you've made sure it's not hot you can pull the eye out which just involves slipping it out it may get stuck because there's a little groove right here that will get stuck inside of this little pan so you pull the eye out, pull the pan out, and then these are the little terminals on the eye that I was talking about. These can, these are actually really clean, but these can get really dirty and corroded, and you can take like a heavy sponge or maybe some wire, uh, some like steel wool, that's what it is. Um, yeah, make some, take some steel wool and like really scrape this and get it all silver and clean again so that it can make a good connection. Now, a really cool thing with these like uh, stoves with burners on them is that usually the whole top will lift up and these little props will hold it up for you. So once you have your stove up, you can look at this little connector block here. And this guy is usually the culprit when an eye stops working because it'll get worn out inside of these uh, connect or these connectors on the inside will get worn out. And you can actually replace this guy for about 8 to $10 if you grab another one. Like our local Lowe's has one. You can also order the kit on Amazon. Um, but really you want to look in, make sure that looks okay. Um, but that, that's a more involved process. And for now I'm just going to show you the easier fix. So I'm going to lower this back down. And... We're going to put the pan back in, and then now that these are good and clean, we're going to just stick it back in. And the key here is to make sure that it feels like it's got a good connection. Because honestly, what it probably did is it's gotten loose and it wasn't connected and needs to be kind of firmly pressed in so that there is a connection. So if you... the yeah, so if you push it in, make sure there's a connection, you probably will be able to just turn it on and the eye will still work. Um, if it's a loose connection, you're going to want to look into replacing that terminal block, which I'll make a longer video on later. But for now, you should be able to just plug it in and get it um, working again by making sure that it's securely plugged in. Hopefully, you were able to firmly press it back into place and get your eye back to working. But if that doesn't work and you, you wiggle it around and you tried everything and it's just not coming on, then you probably have to replace a part. So I was going to go ahead and show you how to test and figure out which part's actually failing for you. So if you pull the eye out, we can test to see if the eye itself is bad. And you would do that using a multimeter. So Lowe's sells a kit that comes with a multimeter, an outlet tester, and this wand that is a wireless voltage detector, which this thing is amazing. But what you're gonna wanna do with the multimeter here to test the eye is to set it to test continuity and this little dude here um, will make sounds 
if it detects continuity, basically. Um, and that just is, it's literally just detecting if it m completes the circuit. So obviously these two are connected. So the question is, is there a connection going all the way around from one terminal to the other? And you can just connect one, one of your leads to one of its connectors and then the other one to the other and the multimeter should start making noise. Um, and if it doesn't, then there's a break somewhere in the eye and you'll need to run to Lowe's and get a new eye. And these things are really uh, common and usually the same size. There's obviously a small eye and a big eye and you can just take yours to Lowe's honestly and compare there and make sure you get the right one. So either the connector has gone bad or another option is the control switch has gone bad. And to tell if the connector is getting power, um, you can use one of these wireless voltage detector wands. And you just turn the eye on, and obviously don't stick your finger in it, but once it's turned on, you just simply place this inside and it will start yelling at you to tell you, hey, there's power going to that. So if that's the case, then you know your control switch is good, but it's your connector that you'll have to replace. Okay, so hopefully at this point you know what's actually causing the problem and needs to be replaced. So either it's the control block, or it's the control switch, or it's the burner, which hopefully it's the burner because that's just a trip down to Lowe's and it's fixed for 10 bucks. Um, but we will have different videos on each of these different parts and I'll see you in one of those videos.